Hey everyone, Demon Knight here. In this video I want to go over what exactly critical hit damage in Borderlands 2 and TPS is, what type of crit multipliers there are, how to calculate crit damage and what mechanics critical hits have. Before I start I just want to mention that I will link two guides to crit damage in the description below, one for Borderlands 2 made by Chuck80 and one for TPS I made myself. However the Borderlands 2 guide is a bit outdated and won't include everything mentioned in this video. So just like with my splash and grenade damage videos, let's start with the basics first. If you shoot an enemy in a critical spot, for example a bandit's head, you will deal bonus damage. That bonus damage is a multiplier of 2 at base, so you'll deal twice as much damage. Critical hit damage from skills, class mods or other sources modifies the multiplier, with different types having different effects. For example having plus 10% critical hit damage without any other crit multipliers will result in a multiplier of 2.2, since 10% of 2 is obviously 0.2. Now there are 4 different types of critical hit damage multipliers, most commonly referred to as type A, B, C and D. Type A is the most common crit multiplier. Every single class mod, relic and oskit with crit damage is type A. All skills except one are type A as well. It's also in the badass rank bonuses. Most guns with passive crit multipliers also have type A. The damage formula for type A is the one I already mentioned earlier. It simply adds a bonus to your base crit multiplier, so again plus 10% type A would be a multiplier of 2.2. Now let's move on to type B. Type B is a lot less common than type A and is sometimes also referred to as a multiplicative bonus. It's only found as a passive multiplier on certain guns, most commonly on Jacob's weapons. In fact, a lot of Jacob's weapons have a type B bonus, with some guns even having both type A and B multipliers. It's calculated after type A, meaning that for example having plus 10% type A and plus 10% type B would result in the multiplier being 2.2 and then gaining 10% through type B again. That equals 2.42 since 10% of 2.2 is 0.22. The noticeable difference here is that if both multipliers were either type A or B, you would just end up with a multiplier of 2.4, since you could simply add both bonuses together to plus 20% crit damage. We are working with small numbers here, so the difference is not that big, but stacking a lot of type A bonuses and then adding a type B bonus on top of that will result in a large multiplicative bonus. One of the most powerful crit bonuses in the game comes from the Grog Nozzle, because it has a massive amount of plus 200% type B. That's why for example dual wielding a Lady Fist which has plus 800% type A and a Grog Nozzle as Salvador will result in absolutely broken crit damage. Anyway let's get to type C. This one is a lot less common than type A as well and is not actually a bonus since it divides your crit damage instead of multiplying it. It's mostly found on guns as well, however Krieg's Pain is Power does also have type C since it reduces his crit damage. Guns that have it are certain e tech weapons and non-Jacobs assault rifles. The calculation of type C is not very different from the other types, as I said instead of multiplying it just uses division. So if you have plus 10% type A, plus 10% type B and plus 10% type C, you'd have the base multiplier of 2 times 1.1 times 1.1 again and then divided by 1.1, which equals 2.2. Type C pretty much nullifies one of the other types in this example, but it's not the same as reducing either type A or B by 10%. Let's say you have plus 20% type A, plus 10% type B and plus 15% type C. The calculation is 2 times 1.2 times 1.1 and divided by 1.15, which equals about 2.3. Simply reducing for example type A by 15% would mean 2 times 1.05 times 1.1, which then equals 2.31 and that's incorrect of course. Also Krieg's Pain is Power lists the crit multiplier as a negative number, but that's just the game's way of clarifying that it's reducing crit damage. In reality it adds a positive value to your type C divisor. Finally we have type D. By far the most uncommon crit multiplier in the game and it was actually just discovered not too long ago by a friend of mine and myself. The only known weapons with this type are gemstone weapons from the Tiny Tina DLC. So Chuck's suspicions of them having their own crit multiplier were correct, also I'm sorry about your bruised forehead dirge. Anyway type D is calculated very differently from the other types. 
it is completely unaffected by all other crit multipliers and calculated by the base values of a critical hit. For example, having plus 10% of all types would be calculated like this. Base damage times 2 times 1.1 times 1.1 divided by 1.1 plus in brackets base damage times 2 times 0.1. All that equals base damage times 2.4. Now let me explain the last part of that calculation. As I said, type D is completely unaffected by everything else, which means the first part of the equation is calculated, type D is calculated separately, and then type D is simply added on top of that, which explains the plus there. Since it's calculated by the base values, you have to include base damage and the base multiplier of 2 again, but then you have to multiply by the percentage number of type D itself, since it's added on top of everything, which explains the 0.1. Now does this mean that type D is more or less valuable than type A? That really depends on what other crit types you have. If you have a type B value then type A is better, since B multiplies A. However if you have a type C value you would want type D instead, so that C doesn't reduce your damage as much. Though I should also mention that type D can never actually be 10%. Every single gemstone gun has a fixed value of 7.5% type D so it isn't really that big of a deal anyway. I hope all of that made sense and was understandable, now let's move on to other mechanics of crit damage. Let's start with item card values. Guns that already have crit multipliers on their own can show these on their item card, except that it will just be listed as a number without any indication of what type it is. Should a gun have two different crit multipliers, like for example the hail, which has plus 200% type A and plus 20% type C, then the listed value will be incorrect as the game is trying to calculate it into a single number, which doesn't make any sense as soon as you factor in other crit sources like skills. In TPS the crit values listed on certain class mods and OS kits can be off by 0.5%, however my guide in the description lists all of them correctly at their highest possible values. Moving on, unlike gun damage, crit damage is calculated when a projectile hits an enemy, not when it spawns. This means that shooting a projectile with one gun and swapping to a different gun while the projectile is still traveling results in the projectile gaining the crit multipliers of the gun that was switched to. So for example shooting a sandhog and switching to a lady fist while the projectiles are traveling will give them plus 800% type A crit damage, which is commonly used against raid bosses together with the BE. As you might already know, in most cases only the impact damage of a projectile gets multiplied, while splash damage doesn't, with a few exceptions on enemies with universal crit spots such as crystallists. Melee damage can score critical hits, but is completely unaffected by all four crit multipliers. The only exception to this is Krieg's Pain is Power, which does reduce his crit melee damage, even though holding a gun with type C doesn't. As I already mentioned earlier while explaining type B crit damage, Gunzerking gives each weapon the crit bonus of the other weapon on top of its own. The same applies to Claptrap's Fun Zerking and Nisha's one for each of you. Nisha also has Tombstone which allows her to score critical hits on body shots with any damage she deals except for damage over time. This includes launchers, grenades, splash damage, shield damage and even melee attacks, however melee crits still don't receive any bonus from crit multipliers. If you're for example holding a sniper rifle with plus 100% type A crit damage in your hands and throw a grenade that crits an enemy, the grenade will receive the plus 100% type A from the gun you're holding. Now I said that many weapons have crit multipliers on their own, which is dependent on many things like what type of gun it is, what parts it has and what prefix it has. All guns and parts with their passive crit multipliers are listed in the guides I linked in the description below. Both guides also include all crit values of skills and equipment and my guide also has some extra information about crit related guns and skills in TPS. Finally, TPS also has the cryo element which freezes enemies and multiplies melee, explosive and crit damage. Getting a critical hit on a frozen enemy will give you plus 200% type A crit damage. So that's everything about critical hits in Borderlands 2 and TPS. I hope you guys learned something from this and that everything was understandable, but if not feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Next up I plan on making a video about what exactly TDO weapons are, and trust me when I say they have some complicated mechanics as well. Especially TPS goes full ZX1 style again with these, but that's for another time. Anyway, thanks for watching and see ya everyone.